You know, Mario, that was the worst camping trip I've ever been in. Like, you gotta be honest with me, that camping trip was so terribly just boring. Actually, it's only the fact that we got attacked by a creeper or whatever that thing is. That is true, but eh, whatever, that was boring. Hey, what are you complaining about? I got bitten by a freaking raccoon later on the trip. Oh, whatever, that doesn't matter. <clears throat> Mario, there's this guy that needs to talk to you over, like, around, I don't know, it's like nearby a lab, I'll just say. A lab? Yes. You see, um, he wants you to meet over, like, at, I don't know, but it's like, here, I'll, sh I'll give you the address through here. Okay, then, uh, thanks, I mean. So he doesn't want Luigi or anything? No, uh, he knows pretty much that you're bionic, so, I mean, he's pretty much, wait, wait, what? You spilled out our secret? Well, me and him are good friends, I guess you could say. Oh. That's a little bit explainable. And he kind of wants you right now, so... Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can go... Uh, you can go there, I mean... I guess it's a... You have to, but... These guys can stay for a little while. Okay, then. Thanks. Uh, I'll just head over right now so I can get it done quicker. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. That was a long way. Uh, here's the apartment room. I believe this is it. Uh, 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 whoa. Whoa, very cozy place, I see. Huh. Oh, why hello there, Super Mario. Well, I, I'm glad to see you here. Well, I'm glad to see you here too, bud. What am I doing here exactly? Oh, I've heard a lot about you. I've heard a lot from Toad about your missions and your successes. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with that. But, why did you call me up here, but, uh, exactly? Well, I know this may not matter to you much, but remember your parents. You know, your parents that you pretty much don't know about too much, as for a fact. Wait, what? My parents? Uh, I thought I knew everything about my parents, I'm pretty sure. Well, you don't. You see, people have been telling you lies for the past years. And it's time that you finally learn the truth about your parents time that you end your journey on your, well, pretty much by your parents. I mean, you've been going on with this for too long, I think that you need to end it once and for all. Well, thanks, I mean, this is actually some pretty helpful information. I mean, I thought I would never get help from anyone, but thanks, I mean, I'm very glad you're trying to help me. Problem. But, you see this. Ugh. I have everything on this little tablet. And you may have seen that this tablet does not much store too much, but trust me, it stores a lot of information. Alright, now we just have to turn it on. Uh, okay then, but how much information do you even know about my parents? I mean, I've been hearing theories about how they're still alive and all that, and I don't even know. I mean, all that I know is that... Everything keeps changing all the time. Alright, Alright, I got all the information. Alright. So, I'm gonna explain you the story, pretty much. Alright, you see, back when you were about six years old, around six and a half, you, you know the story, pretty much, of how your parents disappear, you know, all that stuff. But, what you don't know is, why haven't they been back for the past 12 years? And, this has been very mysterious, and now it's finally time that you learn the- Okay, just- just get to the point, okay? I, I already know all this, I just- I want to know why they disappeared on me. 
Very well. Well, you see, from the beginning, they're not, they weren't just ordinary parents. They were bionic. And when I mean bionic, I mean they had abilities like you. Wait, bionic abilities? Like, the ones that I have right now, like lightning and telekinesis and all that? Yes. You see, from the beginning, the Chosen, every time a Chosen One would have a son, then that would mean that their firstborn child would have the Bionics. And it can only be pretty much told by a Chosen One's child. And considering you were the first Chosen One child, you were the one to have Bionics. But, however, your father managed to create two Bionic ch children. There's a one in a million chance of this happening. And this is the one cause to happen. So, why did I not know anything about my brother Luigi after once I got to 16 or 17? You see, your brother, as I call him, he was pretty much adopted. You see, your father did not even like Luigi. He considered him as a, a terrifyingness. I mean, he was terrified, and it would be very difficult to actually take care of him. So, your father sent him away, and, well, he was in a very, in a very difficult place to live in. He, however, he was very trained, but now, uh, I, I don't know, like, he, I, there has been problems going on pretty much over the time of lifespan. Oh. So, how do I, how would I get these bionic abilities? I mean, so if I, if a chosen one were pretty much to give birth to me, give birth to me, then does that mean I have the abilities? And if that's the case, then... Why do I only have the six abilities, and why does it remain for me to unlock them? You see, they are remain unlocked, considering you were very young at the age. Basically, if you were to unlock them at a very young age, it would be way out of control, and you wouldn't even be living right now, considering how you would have a very small chance of killing yourself with these abilities. However, once you start to experience more with life, you will, if would, eventually just pretty much continue on and start, you know, like, just start learning how to use your abilities properly. Now, this is a really rare chance, and I mean much more rare. It is one in, like, a quintillionth chance of a child happening to find out about their bionic abilities at a very young age. And this happened to one. It is, like, so rare. Like, it is a one in a quintillionth chance of this happening. Good grief. How many how many zeros is that? Like, 15 or something? I'm not sure. Well, let me just tell you about the story about this man. You see, his... Pretty much, uh, he discovered his first ability at the age of three. Wait, at the age of three? Then... If he has discovered his ability that soon, then how old was he when he died? He died at age 30. Good grief, that is very young. Ah, not too young then compared to other people. You see, he found out so many abilities that at a young age, pretty much, which is 30, he died. Considering of a cancer he had. Wait, 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 wait. The, the sooner you find your abilities, the sooner you get cancer? You see, your brain starts to memorize a lot of abilities, and, well, it's very difficult. It's very hard to explain, I mean, I mean, no one has, I mean, I haven't even get, I haven't even, like, pretty much experienced this before. Then, if you've never experienced this before, then how do you know all this? I mean, you've never even seen it or anything. <sighs> Let me just say, it's from the internet. Then... So you believe in the internet? You don't even know the Bible. I have read more than just the internet. There is a book that contains the origin. Wait, an origin? Yes. Your father's diary. My my father has a diary? Is he a girl or something? Because, uh, I mean, I don't know about this. Oh, 
Your father is not a girl. That'd be stupid. But, your father has had many, many histories with his life. And ever since then, he's been keeping track of all the history he's had, including you. You see, it all started when he was about your age, I mean, about your age. And soon you're, you're gonna have to keep a diary of your all your adventures. Cause he started writing out a lot. He then became so pretty much trained and now he's gone. I mean, he's gone and no one knows for sure where he is. Okay, now you're telling me the origins. Like, can we just get to why my parents are gone? I mean, I mean, I, I, this is getting boring. This is pretty much a waste of time. I mean, I'm just only here because I want to know. I mean, I'm not here to freaking know the origin. Which, I mean, I guess it's interesting, but... I don't know. I mean, why, what does this have to do with anything? Well, in order to find out why your parents left you, you need to find out the origin. But that makes no freaking sense. I mean, I'm pretty much finding about the origin rather than, than why my parents are gone. <sighs> this is, this will get a little bit explainable. But anyways, <sighs> you see, basically, once your father had you, I mean, you were all fine. I mean, you were a chosen one. But then, <sighs> there's been weeks later, and well, his house was destroyed, pretty much part of it. Really? Oh, wait. Wait, what? What the? I now remember. His house was destroyed, so what does that lead to anything? I mean, it doesn't lead to anything, and... He did take me to my aunt and uncle's house, but... I don't know, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, the one that caused this was a guy, a mystery man that for sure remains unknown. Wait, okay, has my dad ever confirmed this at all, who it was? He is so far known as the unknown man. He has been hiding behind a mask the whole time. And he is called the Sinister. The Sinister what? Just the Sinister? That's pretty much it? No. He's called the Sinister Killer. He's not just called the Sinister. He's just a Sinister Killer. That makes no sense. Do you have a dictionary so I can look up Sinister? Right next to you. Oh. Okay, I can look up that easily. <sighs> I found the definition. What did it say? It said it's pretty much evil looking. So you're basically saying that this guy is evil looking? That's what he would refer to himself as. But. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't know if I can keep it. You see, Lord Chazard was the one that set this up. He was the one that wanted you to be away from your parents. However, his plan did a little bit backfire. He thought that you were gone and almost terrorized the world. But, he, I mean, I don't know, it took him so long, and he never d destroyed, ter tried to terrorize the world. Wait, what? Wait, what? What are you talking about? I mean, uh, wh what? And also, my next secret is, I'm not Toad's friend. I'm not just any ordinary friend. You know how I know this? How? You see, Lord Chazard was your father's enemy. He has been an enemy for every single chosen one. And he is an annual villain for every single chosen one. 
And you see, I work for the chance. But why am I here? I mean, you just pretty much brought me here to tell me the information about my parents. I mean, and now you're acting pretty much suspiciously. I mean, why are you even bringing me here? Well, you see, I wanted to bring you here so that way I can get you much closer. You see, your past villains have failed trying to kill you. And you will not want to know why? Because they never have a plan. All they want to do is just get you and kill you. That's it. They never plan that out. They never actually try and succeed. And now, I've been playing this for many years. And I do have a machine that can at least track for you. Hold on just a second. A machine? Oh no, I better get out of here. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh my god! I can actually get out! Oh, you think you can get out, get out that fast? Oink, oink! I'm a piggy bomb! I got out! Uh oh! What the?